I think a lot of you are quite familiar with the fact that in Iceland, the geothermal energy is quite abundant. The geothermal area is where if you uh, put the boreholes into the earth down to about a thousand meters, the temperature will be uh, from 50 Celsius degree to uh, over 200 Celsius degree. As the temperature goes up, the groundwater is heated uh, up as well and the temperature will be around uh, from 70 celsius degree and above the best example uh, of how the icelanders harness this geothermal energy will be uh, svartsengi svartsengi power plant is where that the uh, harness the geothermal energy to produce the electricity and also uh, the hot water. Uh, Svartsengi got famous because of Iceland's, Iceland's most famous tourist destination, Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon is a byproduct pool of power plant Svartsengi. And I will, I will tell you why the, this famous Blue Lagoon is a mere by product, at least to start with. The bowl holes of a Swartengi goes down uh, about 400 meters to 600 meters. And as the Swartengi power plant is located in Reykjanes Peninsula, uh, uh, the geothermal fluid is quite saline. And as the uh, geothermal fluid is quite hot, it's about uh, from 230 Celsius degree to 240 Celsius degree. It is quite rich in dissolved matter. So uh, this uh, geothermal fluid not suitable for uh, water pipes, for example, because it's a very corrosive. So this uh, fluid is only used to heat up the ground, ground water. When it is finished with its purpose, it is simply thrown away to nearest lava field, which where the Blue Lagoon stands now. Uh, even though at first the water simply just uh, 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 filtered down through the porous rocks uh, as the silica precipitates when water uh, gets cool uh, uh, on the surface uh, the silica produced a sludge and this sludge was uh, uh, this sludge created a film like cover and covered all the uh, all the pores of the lava field therefore the blue lagoon was able to be formed